so excited. Like, my energy just comes from the mall. Yes, I've already admitted to having a shopping addiction, so you don't need to tell me that I overspend. I am so well aware that I overspend, but a lot of the stuff I actually needed and actually will need to function in life, so... Let's get started. So the first thing I got, yeah, I really didn't need. I actually got suckered into buying. I got this from Macy's. Macy's at my mall had this really cute display at the bottle. And they had a Nicki Minaj look like. I didn't even know Nicki Minaj was freaking having her own perfume. But it was so, so cute. It came with this little bow. Plus, if you bought the perfume, you got a free bag. So let me take these out so I can show you what, what captivated me. Okay, so this box itself is just like so beautiful. Like I was just like, if you're a Nicki Minaj fan, obviously you're going to buy this just because the box itself is really, really beautiful. I'm definitely keeping it and displaying it because I just think it's probably the best packaging for any perfume I've ever seen and I just, I love it. I love it. But the bottle is what totally, totally sold me. Um, as you can see, it's just a, uh, Nikki wig statue sort of thing and it says Nikki Minaj in her little nameplate necklace which I have one that says Trisha. I actually am not wearing it today. I should be. I usually wear it every day. Um, and then it's got her pink hair and you just remove her head. So that's the bottle top and then you have this like little chain just hanging there and then her bust you just spray. And it just, what does it smell like? It almost has a little bit of a hairspray scent to it but I love hairspray. It's like a sweet hairspray so like think of hairspray but sweeter it was just so so cute and perfect again if you don't love the scent I think it's just a really great collectible if you're a Nicki Minaj fan I'm like the world's biggest Nicki Minaj fan. I love Nicki I'm obsessed with her I think she's awesome like I wish I could be Nicki Minaj um <laughs> so I got that and then you got a free bag with purchase so I think a free gift with any purchase is a deal for me and I thought this was a really cute bag actually it reminded me of like Legally Blonde got a gold chains up here and yeah I think you got this with a purchase of any fragrance or I mean not any fragrance but you could either get the big fragrance bottle or you could get like a set with like the lotions and like body soaps and stuff um and I think you got this bag well there's just you just get the gist of it but it's a really big bag and it's just really pretty and Barbie very very pink Friday I love it Nikki you just really stomped on the Macy's fragrance competition like Justin Bieber Lady Gaga has nothing on you however I did end up purchasing the Lady Gaga perfume um, just because I really did like this scent I've smelled it a couple times at Sephora and it just smells so so beautiful I think the box itself is nothing like great I mean it's very clean and very like rich looking um, but I do like the bottle. I thought this was kind of a cool concept. I'm sure you guys have seen this like all over the place by now. Um, it's the little claw thing that comes off. And um, I'm going to mix my scents here. So I'm going to spray this on my neck. Maybe. This one is very florally. It's very girly. It's not what I would ex expect from Lady Gaga. But everyone makes a big deal about the black liquid. I mean, it's pretty. It's a pretty perfume. I love the scent. I mean, I don't picture Lady Gaga like this as being like a scent of hers. Um, I picture it more of like a Taylor Swift Justin Bieber scent, but it is really pretty. Um, I mean, honestly, I like, I picked, okay, I'll just spoil this, but so I have, I'm really close to 200,000 subscribers, so I've been like thinking of ideas to give away to you guys, and I actually ordered this off Sephora. Um, dot com for you guys. It's all packaged up there nicely, so obviously mine's open and stuff like that, but you will have a nice packaged one to win once I hit 200,000 subscribers, so that'll be coming, but I purchased it for you guys before I saw the Nikki, but I have to say this smells better than the Nikki. The Nikki is very, like, I don't know, and I think this is more, like, universal. I think Nicki Minaj is more catered to a, to a certain, you know, demographic, obviously, but this Lady Gaga pretty much could go for any girl, um, because it's edgy, but it's also florally, and it's not too much of a bottle. Like, that will be, like, an eyesore in your room. So, okay, sh sorry, I should have mentioned it. That's the only, that's the only hint I'm giving you in my giveaway, but I love, love, love that as well. Okay, so the next store I went into was Windsor. If I keep looking over, it's to make sure it's recording. It's my new camera. So, um... You know, I don't know. I just want to make sure it's recording and I'm not hauling all this stuff. And then I come to find out I didn't record anything. So that's why I'm looking over there. So I went to Windsor. Um, I actually had never been to Windsor before. But I have heard of it from a couple people. Um, kind of not really.
really my style, but I really, really love this top. I went in there with my sister because she was working, looking for work clothes. Um, and this was actually on the mannequin with like a sweater, but I liked it without the sweater. I thought this was very Peg Bundy, and of course it's leopard print, and I love it, but it's just this, you know, it's not off the shoulder, it's just like a tube top, but it's really stretchy and just flowy, and it makes your bust look really big. When I tried it on, my boobs looked huge, even more ginormous than they normally do, and you know I love big boobs, so... Um, so I had to pick this up, and it was, it was pretty, uh, 19 bucks, so it's like a Forever 21 type store. My sister actually got a gray sweater with this, and so she wears it a completely different way than I do, but it's a really cute top. The next place I went to was a new store that I never heard of. It was 2B by BB. Basically, like, I had seen this at another mall we went to, and we were kind of confused at it. We're like, what is this? Is this like a knockoff BB? It's actually a sister store of BB. It's just more affordable, um, which I think is really great, because BB is very expensive. It's actually where I got this tank top, um... This was $5 there, so it's just, oh, hello. This tank top was $5 there. It's just this cheetah print tank top, which I think is really, really cute. And for, I honestly, I was going to pay $10 for it, but, like, they were having all these sales, and, like, if you signed up for the card, you got, like, another, like, 20% off your purchase. So I ended up getting this one for $5, and I got one in pink as well for $5, just because I love to layer, and I love leopard print. And still, I'm addicted to, like, neon, so... I got this. Originally they were $10.95, but um, they were $5 each, so I had to get that. And then I got this um, Alexander McQueen inspired scarf. Um, as you guys have probably seen this print everywhere, it's very in right now with the shirts, but I just really liked the scarf because I'm into scarves. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I might just put this on my bag. I'm not really sure. I just really, I do like the skull pattern. Um, I actually do have the skull shirt like this, but I feel like everybody wears it, so I'm just kind of like, I don't know. Not that that should hinder you from wearing something, but, you know, after a while you get a little burnt out of it. But I did really, really like the scarf, and I do wear scarves like every which way. I put them on my purse, I put them in my head, around my neck, so I thought it was cute. It's light, it's perfect, like, lightweight for, like, California winters, because we don't need the, like, wool obviously because it's not that cold but then the final thing I picked up from um BB this was actually the most or 2B I'm sorry not BB this was actually the most expensive thing I picked up there and it's probably the most expensive thing in the store it's um $39.95 but I've been looking for a dress like this for a while it's just this um bodycon dress the like bandage dress and it was really really cute on it reminded me of like Aubrey O'Day slash Christina Aguilera and then it has the cutout and this falls right above your butt crack, so it makes it look like a badonka donk. And it's just really great. My sister actually got the wine one. And if you're not so curvy, but you want to look a little more voluptuous or a little more curvaceous, curves in the right places, if you will, um, I would really recommend getting these style of dresses. Um, I've seen them on a lot of people, and they just look good. Even my sister. I mean, my sister is relatively thin, but it just made her a little more bustier, a little more hippier. Um, and, of course, it made me a little more bustier and hippier, which I don't really need to be. But, you know what? I love it. And I thought it was a really pretty color, this coral is just gorgeous. Then I found this store Typo, which I had never heard of, but it is a division of Cottonon. Um, really, really cheap. It was like a mixture of like Target and Urban Outfitters and yeah, just like all this really cute like indie stuff in one. I wish I could have gotten more. My hands were so full by the time I went to the store and everything was kind of fragile, but I had to pick up as much as I could because it was so cheap. I mean, it was, what was all this stuff? $15? Yeah, really cheap. So, um, the first thing I picked up, well, this was actually, like, a gay gift from my sister. Um, it's the I Heart Rich Men. <laughs> um, just because, obviously, everybody thinks I am, like, a gold digger, um, sugar daddy, sugar baby, whatever. Um, I just think it was, it's, like, again, this whole store was, like, ironic. I just thought it was really cute and funny. So, um, my sister was like, you have to have it. So, we just put it in my bag. And it was only, like, two, this was originally $3, but everything was, like, on sale. It was like a dollar fifty or something. But I thought it was really cute. And you know, I'm not gonna lie, like we all like rich men, you know. But you know, if I fall in love with a broke guy, that's that's just as good. I'll take it. It doesn't matter. Um and then I got these paper clips which were originally $1.95 and they were 50 cents. So they were just like these purple paper clips, which I always need paper clips. And um, this notebook I thought was so, so cute. This was originally $4.95, and I got it for a dollar. And it's just a notebook. And you guys know I love my notebooks. And it says, holy shit, I'm such a hottie. And it's like a girl staring at herself in the mirror, which is very fitting for me because I'm very narcissistic. So I thought it was really cute. And it's just a notebook pad. And I don't know. It was cute for, like, my purse. I, I, I mean, all this stuff is, like, notebooks, guys. I'm not even kidding. So this is going to turn into a mini notebook haul. But 
I did pick up two of these writing books, which are like 50 cents. Um, just because I write... You guys know that I write like stories and screenplays and I don't know just to like let out my creativity I suppose um, but I thought about making more like skits and stuff for YouTube so I thought maybe I could maybe branch into the whole like short film style stuff because I write a lot of skits that are like a minute two minutes but I thought maybe I could do some longer ones and I thought this would be inspiration to do that um, and then these notebooks right here were all a dollar as well um, and originally they were only like three dollars so I just picked up a bunch of notebooks. This is like one with like fashion. It's got some really pretty pink shoes down there, which is why I loved it. This is another high fashion one, um, very European. It's got like Paris themed photos. Me and my sister got um, matching ones of these, just a really hot body, which I love hot bodies. And this one was a sectional one. It has like sections to it. Um, again, I mean, my notebook collection is a little out of control, but these were just such a good deal. And then this one was just more of a summery beach theme, and it had, like, ice cream and a Volkswagen, and just really cute. Oh, I love the pink shutters, too. Really cute, really large notebooks, um, and they were all a dollar, so I got those at Typo. All right, y'all, you know what's coming. Bath and Body Works. Yes, these were from two different malls, so... Um, I only picked up one candle this time, but they were still having, because they didn't have the 2 for 20 candle sale, but they were having their 4 for 15 hand soap sales, and i said this numerous times, I love their hand soaps, it is the best smelling hand soaps of Lush, of anybody, like anything, and I usually get mine at Target because they're cheap, but these are actually cheaper than Target when they're 4 for 15, because at Target, um, if you get the Method hand soaps or like Dial, it's usually anywhere between 3 and $4, so for four of them, you, um, you know, you can spend, you know, or 3 to $5, sorry, you can spend, you know, $16, $17, whatever, so the 4 for 15 was great, plus I had my coupon, so I got them super cheap, so I just picked up my favorite scents, I wasn't really adventurous, I just got two more Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkins, um, which I think is a very um, clean and subdued scent, which I really, really like, but it's still very warm for fall. And then, of course, they only had two of these left. I got two more warm apple ciders. Yes, you guys, if I could show you my warm apple cider collection, I think I have, like, 12 of these now. So I think I'm good with the warm apple ciders, but these are just... It's, it's just so yummy. I love washing my hands with them. They're just, they're just that good. So I got those, and then they also had a sale on these um, body soaps, body gels. It was buy two, get one free, or buy three, get two free. Um, I didn't really need that many. I honestly just wanted the Cashmere Glow Shower Gel. Um, so I ended up getting this, and then my sister loves the Japanese Cherry Blossom collection, so I ended up getting that to try because I thought, okay, well, then you got one free. And then I got the Paris Armour one. Um, I just thought it was a pretty bottle, and it smelled all right, but I haven't tried any of these in the shower, so I don't really know how they translate to your body. And then their hand sanitizers were five for five. Um, well, I only have three because I gave two. I gave one to my mom and one to my sister because I'm nice like that. I got the warm vanilla sugar. What? Oh, it's focusing on my face. Oh, my gosh. Can I just, like, not get used to this camera? How does that work? I don't know how to focus. Well, anyways, this is warm vanilla sugar. <laughs> I really need to learn how to use these cameras that I get. Um, I got one in warm apple cider, and I got one in pumpkin. Yeah, so that was at the first Bath and Body Works. And then the second Bath and Body Works I went to, I actually just ended up picking up a loofah because I never use loofahs. And maybe you guys could help me on why people prefer loofahs over washcloths, but I know when people come to my house, they're like, what do you wash your body with? I know, like, okay, that's only been two people, but still, that's, like, kind of weird. I was just like, wa like, washcloths? Like, what are you? And they're like, you don't have a loofah? I'm like, no. So I guess my sister said these are better for shower gels. Um, I don't know. Let me know. And do you throw these away? I mean, I don't know. Do you wash them? I don't know what you do with these. So I just picked up one of those because everyone's been telling me that I need to get a loofah for body wash. I don't know. I always just use body, like, uh, washcloths, so I don't know. Um, and this I love. This is just a, um, Cashmere Glow gift set, which I loved the scent of Cashmere Glow. It's their newest scent, so it's, it's the one that's on display. And inside, this was, I mean, this was really, yeah, this was not even $20. It was $19.50, and it's, you get this really pretty, um, pouch, which the, the glitter doesn't come off because there's, like, a plastic over it. You get a sample of the Cashmere Glow Shower Gel. You get a Cashmere Glow Fragrance Mist. Um, then you also get a Cashmere Glow Body Lotion and a Cashmere Glow Lip Gloss. 
Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is not cashmere pillow. This is marshmallow cream. Well, what do you know? That is very bizarre that it's in this set. But honestly, I would have picked one of these up. I should have picked one of these up for you guys. I mean, for only $20, I should have picked one of these up. But the other items I had already purchased online for you guys are pretty expensive. Um... So I kind of had to budget myself. Um, so I picked one of these up. I really wish I would have now. Oh, well, I think you guys will be happy with the other stuff. And then finally, I just picked up... Well, you know what? I actually did pick up two of these because everyone, like, raved about them. But one is burning in my house right now. Um, the Mahogany Teakwood candle. I wasn't a huge fan when I originally smelled this. I mean, of course, everyone's like, it smells like Abercrombie and Fitch. I mean, I don't, I don't get the Abercrombie and Fitch scent. I don't get that from this. Um, but it smells really good and clean. I mean, it's definitely like a masculine scent. I think it gives your house a different um, smell than just like the fall candles I've been purchasing, which are really warm and like just girly and feminine and fun. This is just more masculine, like a guy just took a shower at your house or something. I don't know. It is a nice scent, and it just doesn't fill up my house like my autumn candles do for some reason. And I didn't know if I would love it. I should have only picked up one candle, but I was there, and this was like the hot ticket, they said. Like, everyone's been coming in to get the mahogany teak wood, and they're like selling out, so whatever. I bought that. So that was my mall haul. I think it's going to be my last mall haul for a while because I know I have been a little crazy. Um, so I've been just really good because I've gotten all my stuff for my giveaways now and I feel like now I'm just kind of good until winter comes along. So yeah. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I love my fishies more than anything in the world. Kissies for my fishies. Mm -hmm.